This insane looking building that looks like an evil villain's lair from a Bond film is actually Europe's highest train station. The floor is nice. Imagine if an amusement park and a train station had a baby. And then you place that baby on top of a mountain. That's the best way that I know to explain this place. It sits in the Swiss Alps at 3,500 meters above sea level on top of the Alps' longest glacier. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe this place exists and even harder to believe that it's a train station. So today, we're going to see it for ourselves. So we were supposed to be in India right now, but the Indian holiday Diwali delayed our visa arriving. So yesterday we found ourselves at the airport trying to talk our way onto a flight without a valid visa. Your visa is inside? It hasn't been approved yet. As you can imagine, that didn't go so well. We should be sitting in a first class seat right now, getting served very expensive champagne. <laughs> Instead, we're at the food court. After spending half the day on the phone, I was able to get our flight rescheduled for two days from now, which will hopefully give us enough time to have our visa come in. And yesterday, we came back here to the hotel, and after sulking for a little while, came up with a new plan to make the most of this unexpected layover in Switzerland. So we are back at the airport before the sun has even come up, not to catch a plane, but to catch a train to Europe's highest train station. But according to Google Maps, it's not just one train, it's one, two, three trains, a gondola, and a final train to get to the train station. And it all needs to go perfectly, otherwise it's gonna be closed by the time we get there and this will all be for nothing. What could possibly go wrong? If you're ever wondering what the dynamics are between Nate and I's relationship on travel days, there's a TikTok that describes it perfectly. <laughs> Nate planned all of this last night. I have no idea what we're doing today. I'm just following Nate. Where are we going next? <laughs> The SBB train crew welcomes you on the Interregio 15 to Geneva. Well, this is bathroom tour number one of who knows how many today. This one is extremely nice. Check out these mirror lights. There's a lovely sky wallpaper. Toilet paper? Love these. It's like sanitizer for you to clean the seat if you need to. I'd say like 9 out of 10. So we're supposed to be on this train for two hours till we arrive in Bern. There we have an eight minute layover and then we'll switch trains and we'll take the next one to Interlaken. You call it a layover? We've taken a lot of trains and I still don't know the lingo. Woo! Got it. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. Vineyards in the foreground, Lake Geneva in the background. We have been on this train for an hour and we are still riding beside Lake Geneva. I knew it was big, but this has given me a whole new appreciation for just how huge it is. This is so beautiful. I had no idea there were this many vineyards in Switzerland. I want a painting of this countryside. will continue to Zofing, Sorse, and Lusa. All right, our first train ride of the day is complete. We have made it to Bern, and now we have eight minutes to find our next train. This day would be so annoying if we had our suitcases with us. We left them back at our hotel and just brought our backpacks since this was such a short travel day and there was gonna be a lot of movement. I feel like a backpacker again. I feel so free. This really feels like the old days, riding from train to train. This is the lightest we've traveled since 2016. Go, go, go. <laughs> we never would have made it with our big suitcases. I feel so fast, so fast and free. This is great. Maybe nobody yes, travels on the weekend in Switzerland. We've had both train cars all to ourselves. <laughs> they feel so romantic when it's just the two of us. 
So far today is going much smoother than yesterday. Feels good to have a travel day go as planned. Also, it might seem a little crazy to take trains halfway across the country just to go to a train station, but that's the great thing about train travel. The journey is the experience. We're basically getting a sightseeing tour of half of the country today. You can hear the cowbells from the train. This is so much better than sitting at our airport hotel refreshing our application status. <laughs> but now, I'm in a rush to leave Switzerland. It just keeps getting better. I haven't even had fondue yet today. They should really play music on trains. There's like zero vibe in here. Like imagine if we were listening to like movie scores right now. The sound of music. <laughs> the hills are alive. That's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> Please change to the connecting service. Nächster Halt, Interlaken West. All right, one hour later we have arrived in Interlochen. Real quick, we want to say a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And today I want to tell you about their best deal of the year. So if you've been watching our videos and you've heard me talk about Surfshark and you thought I should really sign up for that service, today is your day. But assuming there's some of you here that have never heard about Surfshark or don't know what a VPN is, let me quickly explain. A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it encrypts all the data sent between your computer and the internet so that no one can steal your sensitive information. And if you spend a lot of time behind your computer, like we do, a VPN can be a great way to improve your digital life because not only will it keep you safe, but it can also be used to unlock content that isn't available in your area. It's super easy to change the virtual location of your computer and get access to a completely new content library. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. It's been our go-to for years, and it's the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. And today, you can get their best deal of the year by using our code Kara and Nate. That's gonna give you 85% off, plus three extra months for free, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is no risk to try it out. To get started, just click the link in the description below. Our next train leaves in 32 minutes. We're gonna try to find some food. So, before we eat, I need to fill you in on our full plan for today. Do you oh remember gosh. what we were doing last time we were here? All the things that I hate. It was like the best two days of my life. Do you remember in that video what we said we would do? No. If this video gets 100,000 likes. No okay, way. I'll convince Kara to bungee jump again. No, no we're not. 87,000. Hold on, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying it didn't get there. Oh gosh. We are 13,000 likes short of Kara having to bungee jump again. It's okay. not happening. <laughs> Let's go get you some lunch. <laughs> I'm a free woman, I can do whatever I want. I have nothing but incredible memories of this place. I feel the same, I have fond memories of my survival, but I do not want to do any of those things again. I need food. This woman is hungry. Damon's birthday today. I'm having bean chips in honor of Eamon. <laughs> What's your favorite bean? Should we split one? No. No? Definitely not. This grocery store lunch costs about 30 US dollars. I think Switzerland would be the perfect country if it wasn't so expensive. For lunch, we're having this freshly made with love salad pasta combo with dressing and a fork that you had to pay for separately, 10 cents. <laughs> and some Swiss dark chocolate. All right, train number three is here. Well gone. Don't mind the gap. This is the part of the journey where we really start to go up. Rindelwald is a town that sits up above Interlaken. 10 of 10 right man. Wow, this might be the most beautiful place in the world. This train continues to Rindelwald. The further we go into the mountains, the more it just looks like a fairy tale land. 
There goes our third train of the day. We have made it to Grindelwald, which is one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. I can say that confidently. The story goes that this is the place that inspired J.R.R. Tolkien, the guy that wrote The Lord of the Rings. This place inspired his vision for Rivendell, where the elves live, like fairy tale land. <laughs> this is the biggest gondola I've ever seen. Like 20 people can fit in there. <laughs> that was brave. Woo! Woo! Oh! It's fast! Oh my gosh! Celebration! This just made my day. We have a 25 person gondola all to ourselves to enjoy this ride to the next train station. <laughs> Look at this view. This is crazy. Look at these cows. It's like they placed them there for the vibe. We got ginger beers to celebrate. Cheers. <laughs> Even if this was taking me to nothing and we were just going up and back down, this would be worth it. That's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want the longer scenic route, you can actually see the train tracks down below the gondola that you would be taking up here. Basically follows the same route, it just takes a lot longer and you're in a train. Well that went by way too quickly. One more train left until we arrive at the highest train station in Europe. We're in like a mountain tunnel right now. All right, definitely the most popular train of the day. I guess it is going to a pretty cool place. You're going to straight up. So this entire train ride is through a tunnel. So that way the tracks will protect it from the snow and the ice and this train could run year round. But the crazy part is this railway was actually built in 1912. The fact that it was built over a hundred years ago with the tools that they were using back then, that's just mind blowing to me. Okay, we've got a bonus stop that I didn't know about. We've stopped in the middle of the tunnel for five minutes for a viewpoint. Oh look, here's the guys. Hello. This is what it looked like building it. Oh my gosh, look at their cute hats. Construction workers a hundred years ago were much more well dressed. Wow, look at this. So cool. Glaciers are mind blowing. This is it. <laughs> this is the top of Europe, Europe's highest railway station. As you know, this plan was made very last minute, so we're not exactly sure what there is to do here. We're currently just following the traffic. I kind of feel like we're part of a social experiment right now. They're like, let's just make everyone go down this hallway and see who follows. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 31 people. Wow. Makes me appreciate where we are a bit more. So I'm pretty sure the train dropped us off here. We're working our way this way, and then we're gonna go up to the Sphinx, which is the lookout tower. Should I put my coat on? No. How cold is it gonna be? Oh, you got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so cold. Oh, 
He chose the appropriate shoes for today. For some reason, I really want to lick the wall. It's just like so shiny and appetizing. Do you remember what happened in a Christmas story? This is pretty incredible. I honestly thought there was gonna be a viewpoint in a restaurant, <laughs> and it's just this tunnel that just keeps leading to more and more exciting stuff. Oh, look at those king penguins. Smooth. <laughs> I don't think anyone in here is having more fun than me, and I don't think anyone's toes are more cold than Kara's. <laughs> Solid ground? Oh, bummer. Oh, finally. That was stressful. <laughs> this just, it keeps getting better. This was a much easier way to get to the top of the mountain than what we did a couple weeks ago. <laughs> My heart is racing. Look at these views. That little building up there, that's the grand finale. Look at the bean chips. We're at 10,000 feet. This bag's about to explode. Look. You want some pretzels? This is not his first time. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so crazy. It's not even part of the attraction. That was the best part. Okay, no more. You wash your hands. Did I have to These people started laughing at me and I think they went about yes, uh, my So you have no more sense. <laughs> the sign says Swiss chocolate heaven. It's unbelievably real. Wow. That place is making bank selling chocolate. The cashier just handed me chocolate on the way out. I love her. She probably saw the sadness in my eyes when I didn't buy any chocolate. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Swiss chocolate tastes better in Switzerland. It's different. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're back where we started, but somehow we missed the top. What an experience. Let's do it all again. We're back in the social experiment tunnel. <laughs> We are currently at 11,872 feet, which makes me feel better about being out of breath by just going up 10 steps. <laughs> Maybe. What do you think this means? Go. Yay. Your open arms welcome. No. It's like, stop. Oh my goodness. She's not talking about the view. Oh my goodness. Look at this view. That is the longest glacier in all of the Alps. It does feel a bit like I'm living in a James Bond film. Dun, 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 dun. Normally I would say this makes my feet feel funny, but I have a new tolerance for heights. Yesterday was pretty frustrating, but at this moment in time, I'm almost glad that our flight got canceled. I'm just so glad we came on this adventure. That is part of travel. Things are guaranteed to go wrong and you just have to make the best of whatever the situation is. What was happening at 345? I have no idea. <laughs> we could have sat in our hotel room miserable all day today, like we thought about doing. That would have been the easy, lazy thing to do. We could have gotten some work done. Slept in. Instead, we're standing on the top of Europe and we're about to go eat cheese fondue. Woo! I'd say we got pretty lucky having the gondola to ourselves on the way up. Look at bee birds. <laughs> bee birds. I seriously thought you were up to something. Yeah, I think Mahari got up to 108. It's at 98 currently. <laughs> thanks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm crazy checking my pulse on the side of the road. Get out of the shoes. You think I should walk barefoot? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice feeling. Woo! Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 